We have a Tesla update. We have a Tesla update. We have a Tesla update. All right, we have a Tesla update, everybody. Um, I think this is going to be um, version 42, which is going to offer the um, navigation on autopilot. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing installed. We are version 9, 2018, 42.2. And that 42.2 is a release that you need to have in order for navigate on autopilot to work. Um, so for those of you still waiting, um, it should be coming pretty quick because once I got version nine, I got hit with these, uh, previous two updates, uh, fairly quickly. So, um, yeah, it's cool. So we're going to test out some stuff and, uh, see how this thing works. All right. So there you have it. Uh, what's new in this update navigate on autopilot, uh, the beta. So this is pretty cool. Um, now, even though everybody had, or all of those who have had version 9 still needed to get this uh, version 42.2, and I'll verify that version here in just to receive the Navigate on Autopilot, but there's another cool feature that uh, was released that some of you may or may not be aware of, but the keys, and the key fob is now available for purchase um, on at Tesla's website. Um, so just like the Model S and the Model X, you now get the key fob um, your car can now support key fobs which are available for purchase from tesla you can manage uh, which key fobs or key cards have access to your car by going to controls locks um, to add new key touch the continue button okay so that's cool um, i know a lot of people have issues with their phones connecting i'm one of those people not all the time just sometimes but of late um because I actually, this is my second update after version 9. So after that second update, my, my phone has been working so much better. Um, so we're, we're going to see. I'm not sure I'm going to get the key fob or not. Um, it may be nice to have as a backup, um, just in case, you know, phone's not available or dead or whatever have you. Um, but then again, you have all the other version 9, the previous version release notes. Um, auto change lane and auto steer are now combined. Uh, blind spot warning. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to check this out too on autopilot today. The dash cam, mobile app, the app launcher, calendar, energy app, browser. So all that stuff, um, all the same. Um, Seatbelt card where you can actually um, make sure that if you do have a car seat in the rear, you can actually let it know that um, so it understands that there's actually a child in that seat. So, um, yeah, cool. So we're going to we're gonna run this video here this morning, and we're going to test out, navigate on autopilot as I head to work, and see how. In 500 feet, turn right to stay on North Lakeshore Drive. And there's your navigate. Oops. Now turn right to stay on North Lakeshore Drive. This is the button you have to press, navigate on autopilot. So that is now active. So let's see what happens. Okay, cool. So you can see some new stuff happening here. Um, that definitive dark line uh, to the vehicle in front of me, I'm not quite sure what it actually means. Um, it's not my distance follower. Um, that was never on there before. can see that now it's picking up the additional lanes, which it did in the original version 9, but the car is not jumping all over the place, so that's a good sign. just want to make sure that that's... Yep, so you can see it definitely changes. Okay, cool. So that's another reason how you know that Navigate and Autopilot is on. Um, otherwise, you'll just have your two blue lanes lit like you normally do with Autopilot. still getting a little bouncy you see that there folks so that that still has to be taken care of I don't know why it's doing that but um, it always freaks me out because I don't know if autopilot's going to freak out from that or not obviously it doesn't but it doesn't make me feel all that comfortable I love this car so you can see here it highlighted hey stay in these two lanes so we are in one of those lanes, so there's no need for me to change. Um, but I know there's construction coming up here, so I'm going to have to get over anyway. And I will do so. Let's see how good of a job it does. Perfect. 
it slowed down. You can see that it was tracking that car. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. Construction detected. Navigate on autopilot limited. That is awesome. That's fantastic. I don't know any other car that would do that. You? If you do, comment down below. But I bet you're going to have a hard time finding one. I'm telling you, so for those folks that are still up in the air between standard range, uh, which is not available yet, and the mid-range car, go get the mid-range car, folks. If you order it, you're, you're going to go ahead and get that thing by the end of the year. You're going to get your tax credit, and you're going to be able to enjoy all these cool features. And as I said in my previous video, which I'll post up here, um, you're going to want that additional range anyway. I, I know most of people, oh, no, I won't use it. Yeah, you're going to use it, and you're going to be glad that you got the additional range or the, the larger battery. So just go ahead and do it, folks. And while you're doing it, use my referral code, and I'm going to link that down below as well. Now, I do have a toll booth coming up as well, so... Um, I am probably going to have to kick autopilot off and then back on. Um, I actually go through a couple of tolls um, so that I can slow the vehicle down and don't run through the gate. But so far, so good, folks. It's pretty cool um, to see how a software update can allow us to do these types of things. And knowing that the hardware is already installed on the vehicle... Um, so that it can do that. So, um, again, uh, another cool advantage and perk of Tesla and the Tesla fleet um, is that these software updates um, will always be available and they'll keep enhancing the vehicle. Um, so it's almost like every time you walk in um, to your car with an update, you're getting something new. Um, so it's really cool to be able to experience that. So this is pretty neat. So right here is telling me upcoming lane change. Make sure that you get over to the right. And highlighting that up here with the arrow here. Very cool. So we'll see if it actually uh, takes us to that off-ramp like it's supposed to. And there's also a turn on this ramp that sometimes autopilot gets a little... Uh, crazy on it's sort of a sharp turn um, so I usually have to take over on that as well but we'll see what happens here look at that automatically turned on my turn signal and took me to my off ramp and turn my turn signal off. Wow, folks. How cool is that? That is unbelievable. It worked um, pretty flawlessly. Knew exactly where to turn. I wasn't over any white lines. I wasn't um, where I wasn't supposed to be. Uh, the people behind me weren't uh, freaking out because the car didn't know what it was doing. Um, it actually absolutely worked very well. And here's the turn that I was just talking about. And it is handling it perfectly fine. So this is going to get a little bit tricky here because it splits off and then it turns around into a toll booth at a pretty sharp turn. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. Very, very impressed. So right here, navigate an autopilot unavailable in 400 feet. So um, this is its warning. It knows the road. It is pretty... Um, pretty slick. I'm going to go ahead and take control over it now um, so I can get through this area here. But very, very impressed, folks. This is um, this is pretty slick. This is pretty slick. But while super impressed, folks, I mean, I couldn't uh, I couldn't dream of that being any better. Confirm lane change follow route. I got a car behind me. Alright, so now I can turn my turn signal on. It's clear. And there it goes. 
fantastic. Man, this makes the car driving a car so much more fun doing stuff like this. This is cool. I love how that works. There you go, navigate an autopilot, unavailable, and, and it counts it down. It was at 500, 175.50, zero, boom, turned off. So now you're just in standard autopilot. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. rocks kicking up. Good thing I put some PPF on my rockers. Yeah, see the only problem with the autopilot is it's not going to cut anybody off or merge like, like you would want it to um, when there's a lot of traffic. Um, and it does get a little crazy um, in those scenarios. Um, so I had to sort of take it off there and get it back in um, after I merged in when there's a lot of traffic. So um, yeah, not so great in those scenarios because you'll you'll miss your exit by time you uh, by time you need to turn if you're waiting for uh, a small spot or a big enough gap um, in the uh, traffic to be able to go. Now I don't know why it's not going now. There was plenty of room here, and again here my exit's almost coming up, and it's not going to make the change. All right, folks, so there you have it. What an experience to use uh, Navigate on Autopilot. It worked pretty flawlessly. There's still some things that just are inherent to the the um, the world around us that just, you know, Autopilot's not going to be able to do. Um, so it still takes a lot of interaction from us, but that was fun. It worked very, very well. I was super impressed with, um, you know, the technology behind it and how it worked. And, um I think that uh, many of you who've been waiting for this are going to love it as well. So uh, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment down below. If you have any questions or if you need me to demonstrate something for you, um, either on autopilot or on nav navigate on autopilot, I'd be happy to do so. Just comment down below. Um, and then don't forget, if you are looking for any accessories for your Model 3, Model S, or X, um, go to Abstract Ocean, and if you use the code word, the buzz, you're going to get 15% off your order. And also, if you are looking for a Tesla vehicle, doesn't matter which one it is, um, please feel free to use my referral code, and I will go ahead and link all that information down below. Have a great day, folks.